Yo, 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 what's going on? Welcome everybody to the Mixed Up Mike Show. Thank you for tuning in this week. I am pleased to have a very special guest here, Violet Riot. Yeah. I, think, I think you're going to turn your mic on. There we go. <laughs> nice. So we got a little, you know, hair issue going on, but it doesn't look too bit. bad depending on the angle. She blends in with the effects. That's why I'm wearing a beanie. <laughs> yeah, but it's all right. No worries. No worries. We'll get through it here. We'll but get I swear I'm not here. bald. <laughs> We're professionals. We're professionals. We got Odin down here assisting as always. So anyway, how you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. Glad you can <laughs> come on to the show. Yes. Appreciate it much. Yes. Definitely. Excited. How did you get into the house scene? Um, well, I've been raving for a long time kind of thing. And pretty much it was at like Hydro uh, a year and a half ish ago that I like saw one of my friends DJing like a renegade. Yeah. So the first time I was up close watching and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Why have I not done this? <laughs> and I just jumped and I just did it and I got the gear and I just house music. I fucking love. So, right. Yeah. It's just one genre that everyone can get into. Oh, yeah. No matter, like, what your background is or what kind of music you like. You know, you can yeah. have, like, any kind of music. and But house music is just something where it touches your soul. Oh, absolutely. You, know? you can it, always dance to it. Always. <laughs> yep. Always. I love, like, when you spin in house music and you got, you know... <laughs> chick with the phone walking up and you're like oh yeah right and she's like um can you play something i can dance to <laughs> it's like yeah. uh mm -hmm. okay i'll try <laughs> <laughs> yup yup <laughs> but so that led you into dj and you know but you were going to raves for a while right yeah i mean i actually first started off with hard style and happy hardcore really that's what got me into the like, happy hardcore yeah oh man dude oh my god i used to go hard with dancing to that shit like <laughs> but um then i started getting older and was like i can't dance like this anymore <laughs> <laughs> so i found house music through like going to like holy ship and yeah. like dirty bird and stuff like that and i was like this is amazing that's awesome yeah that's awesome um, now you just teamed up with AMF. Yes, Audio much excited. Manipulation excite. family. <laughs> me and also me too. So I guess you know. Yeah. Not, yeah. They they, whoop, whoop. they came. They got me uh last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. definitely like, uh, what do you mean? You want me to spin too? Yeah. Duh. So I was like, <laughs> okay. I'll tag. Yeah. It's good shit. <laughs> Once he showed me his mixer, I was like sold yeah I'm, for real I'm, i gotta try this thing mm -hmm. you, you got me dude <laughs> <laughs> so um that led you being in a dj and and you know falling in love with the music but you know being a dj you know you find out quick that it involves so much more oh my god so much you know and <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't you know recognize that you know how much work you know, to be, you know, a, even a decent DJ. Oh, absolutely. You know, you know, the hours you put in and, you know, what you do as a DJ. You know, some people, you know, you get the the cross fader <laughs> mixer. Yeah. You know, those people. Well, <laughs> attractive banger. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I love those ones. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, I got a gig every other weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like... Yo. But yeah. Now, but being a female DJ, you know, that I love seeing female DJs. Oh, yeah. Because they always end up rocking the place. You know, you're going to be playing with Glowworm coming up. Yeah, I'm uh, much excited for that. I know. I wish I could go to that, but I, I got oh, my damn. gig the same night. Oh, okay. Up okay. In Portland. Makes sense. <laughs> so I was like, damn it. I gotta, yeah. I got to figure a way to change my night. So, because mm. we landed like on the same schedule. So I got to try to change my weekend this yeah. way I can get down to platforms and 
uh, it check out the shows. Def- I'm definitely going to be doing that. <laughs> but, uh, like, but yeah, um, you know, it's uh, Be My Bang and Valentine. You get Glow Worm yourself. Uh, uh, no Mercy. Yes. Spinning. Hold on. Anyway, uh, I got the fly right here. Check out the fly. My brain's still not fully on, so. Boom. There it is. There it is. <laughs> There's the event. I just don't have all the, the names of everybody. But. Yeah, I'm blanking right now. I know I'm missing like two people, but exacto. I, okay, I was pumpkin say exacto. head note. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Exacto spinning. So it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a good show. Yeah, it's good show. Be a really good Nasty show. Nasty lineup. Yeah. And good times. Now, are you still into songwriting and singing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um Actually, this past week I was gonna finally start going into the studio. Really? Yeah. So I've been talking with a producer and um, hopefully going to get started on some pop punk again. So cause nice. that's my heart, my soul, everything. But I do want to start also like learning how to make my own like bass house tracks and doing like my own vocals on yeah, them yeah. and stuff. So because I've got so many great one liners written that would be like super awesome for bass house. So I definitely want to apply that. Do soon. you know uh, Haleywood down in uh, Miami? No. She's friends with um, Alyssa Movement. Okay. Darren. Uh, that's what she does. Oh, dope. Yeah, she uh, got into producing like really big time a year ago. And she does her own vocals and stuff. And now she's, you know, yeah. blown up on that. It's she's good doing shit. good down there. Yeah. yeah. Miami's got a crazy scene the clubs down there yeah Ooh. i've never been so <laughs> now, i just see him from like you know the instagram videos yep, yep. like oh i wish i was there it looks thanks fun. darren for the <laughs> to let me know the life you're living yeah <laughs> <laughs> you bastard yeah no, i'm just kidding <laughs> now um you just had an event last night right yes uh an emo event and I think I seen a video of you singing too. Yep. Are we yep. gonna see any singing today? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my vocals are not the best right now. Uh, d- yeah, I didn't do my warm ups. <laughs> oh, you didn't. <laughs> but um, that again, that's like the goal is to be able to do that um, while DJing because yep. when I've got the mic in my hand, um, it's it's the best feeling in the world. That's. That's my favorite thing ever is singing and DJing. I love it so freaking much. And it's so awesome that you can do your own spin things to it. And then you can sing if you want to, but you yep. don't have to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which is the nice thing about it. <laughs> like some of the vocal tracks, you know, sing along with them. Or yep. Like you said, the, uh, you know, tracks you stop producing using your own vocals, yep. you know, singing on top of that while you drop it. Yeah, you know, exactly. That, it would dope. be killer. So. Yeah, that'd be really, really cool. What keeps you inspired? You know, what keeps you motivated? You know, keep going and going. That's a very good question. I struggle with that kind of shit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it's hard to find certain things, but I mean, really, it it just comes down to music in the end. Like I'll yeah. just, if I'm down about something, like. If I'm just, if I've just got my headphones in and all of a sudden like a sweet track just comes on, that just lifts me up and I'm like, okay, let's go. Let's keep doing this. And also, um, I do spin classes. Oh. So like, you know, on the the bike, like kind of thing. Sweating just think about it. (laughs) And well, even going to those and hearing some of the stuff that they play and just overall, the whole experience of a spin class is amazing. Um, that inspires me to like, all right, let's go, let's go, go home. Let's put together another playlist and let's start moving some tracks around and see what we can make. Like the people that run those classes, like really get you pumped. Like that's in that's where I'm videos, planning on like, being an instructor. Like, holy shit. These it's people. a lot of work. It's a lot. But I mean, the cool thing is because I DJ, I'd be really good at it because I already know how to like put together <laughs> all of the you stuff. Already, <laughs> you already got the music for it, so exactly, you know, exactly. Now you just need to get a few bikes and mm-hmm. set up shop, and you'd be good to go. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself in you know five years from now? Oh, good question. 
I mean, I don't know where life is going to take me. I just go with the flow of everything. But, I mean, the, the hope is to have some of my own shit out there and just be performing, whether that be me just flat out singing or me DJing bigger, better venues and, like, yeah. being a lot better at my craft is where I really want to be is just, like, actually having the confidence to say, yes, I am a good DJ. Because right now I'm, I'm always, like... I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. I want to have that confidence. That's that's where I hope to be. Where you know you can just, you know you're going to rock it. Exactly. You know, but, you know, you also got to remember you're human too. Yeah. You know, but you always want to, you know, hone your skills in, mm -hmm. you know, because the technology, like, on these controllers is insane. Yeah. You know. Intimidating. <laughs> I love them. Like, yeah. If I if someone was like, hey, you can buy whatever you want, I would buy it, this. Yeah. I wouldn't buy the three thousands and that because these controllers with the pads, I mm -hmm. love the pads. Oh my god, like, I love I go them nuts too. On them. Yeah. Like they're just so much fun. Like I tried doing it on the three thousands, like it's how I pain. do it. It doesn't. It's not the same. It doesn't drop always mm -hmm. on beat. It'll be like a quarter beat you know what i yeah, mean exactly. or like half beat behind like mm -hmm. delay or something like that um what advice could you give you know um a inspiring dj someone starting off what advice uh oh boy my brain is not working today <laughs> <laughs> i didn't have enough red bull um, <laughs> uh the biggest thing i would say is just like don't overwhelm yourself and like start like you see like James hype out there and you're you'll be like oh my god I want to do that and people will try and like reach a little too far and like you got to get the small stuff together first like yeah. regular beat matching and you know don't jump and just fine tune the the basics of it first in order to start getting to that level yeah if you try jumping on Ford you know, decks right away and doing what James Hype's doing. You're going to... Good luck. <laughs> you're going to end up quitting. Yeah. Because you're going to just... You're going to be so, like, broken. Yeah. And the, honestly, you'll... Most likely, the person would end up yeah. quitting. You know, very few few would be like, hey, you know, I should probably start it yeah. with basics. <laughs> so actually, I'm just thinking one of the biggest words of advice I would actually say is record yourself. Yes. So I am pretty much self-taught, and that's kind of how I figured things out. I would record myself, and then the next day at work, I'd listen back at it. And I'd be like, okay, I had – too much bass here why did I leave that like I need to come in sooner I had my timing wrong like and that's how I fixed my problem areas yep so that would be my biggest thing is just record yourself and listen back yep. always and that gets you to know your tracks mm -hmm. also too it's, it's very important as a young DJ knowing your tracks yes you know no. Sometimes I play better when I don't know the tracks at all. Sometimes. It's, and that's when it's mind-blowing. <laughs> Sometimes. But, yes, knowing your tracks is still very important. Yeah. Especially if you, you know, want to play with the effects and Yeah, if you want to do like that, that kind of stuff, then, yeah, absolutely. But I always love playing other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. That's always fun. Yeah. Because, like, you don't know it. Exactly. But you can... It, it's funny just because of like technology and you know when you used to play somebody's stuff back in the day like you didn't know when it was gonna drop especially if it was dark you only had that yeah. little tiny light <laughs> yeah unless you brought your own things to light up but now you can see like where it breaks down and stuff and like i love how technology has made it so the dj could like literally evolve oh yeah to be able to do more than trying to find you know because yeah. you know you have some people that are just 
stuck, you know, and, um, you know, but I think it's a great thing. It really is For real, because it, is. it allows you to be so much more. Yeah. You know, of what they offer and what you can able to do because, you know, there's DJs out there that, you know, with quick mixing and mm-hmm. drop, you know, drop mixing where you're literally loading the track in at full volume. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's insane. Yeah. You know, you can't do that with other stuff. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you need that, you know, and you don't need to have the, the beat sync on either. It takes yeah. two seconds. Not even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you drop in like 50 tracks in five minutes, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> All right. So this question, I ask everybody. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm scared. What has been the craziest party you've been to? And l- explain it without incriminating yourself. <laughs> Um, the craziest party? Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can just think of is more so parties. Um, my, my, like, old group of friends, we used to be called Camp Get Bent. (laughs) 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 And so. What you guys do it? Can't get bent. (laughs) Can you even say? I mean, uh, but uh, so one of our friends, he actually owns an eight apartment complex. Really? And all of our friends rented out each apartment. So we would have the largest parties there because we would go from one apartment to the next, to the next, to the, if you wanted to just chill, there's one apartment for that. If you wanted loud banging music, like there's one apartment for that. Wow. It was just like awesome. We just ran all around and like getting drunk and whatnot and just having a great fucking time. Like the memories we've made there. Oh, I mean, we've all grown up now. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do that anymore, but my God, it was great. So we, and we were known for telling people to go fuck themselves at uh, like Strange Creek and stuff. That's why we were camp get bent and in a loving way. Like, hey, go fuck yourself. That's awesome, though. Yeah. You know, because you're able to be in a spot and be safe, too. Yeah, You know, exactly. Like, because, you know, those buildings, you know, you get to get in one way and then everything, mm-hmm. you just connect, go out in the hallways, go up, down. Two. Yeah. <laughs> That's Good shit. Awesome. And we even had one apartment that we we literally did therapy. Really? Like, we had the talking stick. <laughs> <laughs> the I therapy mean, it room. Was, it was, like, and we did tea and everything. It was so awesome. Did you have crumpets with, with the I tea? Wish. Right. I wish. I wish. <laughs> Why didn't we do that? <laughs> Sometimes no we had crumpets? food. Sometimes we had food, I think. <laughs> I can't fully remember. Man, that was so long ago. Oh, but yeah, those were good parties. Nice. Good times. Nice. Good times. So uh, what's up? Are you ready to drop some beats or what? Maybe. <laughs> maybe? We got a maybe? We're going we're gonna to see what I feel like playing. It just, just play like whatever you would play if you were just jamming out. Yeah, I th- I think I know what I'll start with and then go from there. All right, let's do it. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> You let me be free 
a weeble bobble for the hell of it, definite grabber.
Yeah, son, where'd you find me?
club, I shake my ass. At the party, I shake my ass. At the function, I shake my ass. I shake my ass. I shake my ass. Shake my, 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 shake my. At the club, I shake my ass. At the party, I shake my ass. At the function, I shake my ass. I shake my ass. I shake my ass. Shake my, shake my, shake my, shake my, shake my, shake my. Why the fuck you standing there? Take my, take my, take my, take my, take my, take my, take my. At the club, I shake my ass. Take my, take my, take my, take my, take my, take my. At the club, I shake my.
Just got me crazy.
Give it up for Violet Riot. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. We got some events coming up. February 17th, we have. Platforms Nightclub, brought to you by Audio Manipulation Family. Via Rylet, we'll be spinning there live. Go check her out. Also a Glowworm, DJ No Mercy, Exacto. Oh yeah, that lineup is stacked. If you're in the area, make sure you go by, hang out, and have some fun. If you're up in the Portland area, come by and say hello at Springpoint Tavern for Will You Be My Dirty Valentine. Bring your loved one, or don't. Maybe you'll find somebody new. Who knows? But we'll be dropping those dirty, dirty breaks in Bass House for you. Dirty T and myself. Brought to you by Handy Productions. Open decks 8 to 9.30. So, if you want to come drop some beats, come early. Got an hour and a half of open decks for you. And then it's time to get groovy, down and dirty. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about.
Violet has been killing it. Oh my goodness. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Check out the merch store too. We've got everything in there. We've got beanies, baseball caps, snapbacks, hoodies, t-shirts, jackets. Working on underwear. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Push and pull, baby. Push and pull, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Make sure you're 18 to be watching this. <laughs> cool. Yeah, like you got blonde hair, you know. Even though it's green, but this it shows you get here, right? We can go to the other we can go to the other scene. No. <laughs> Grab, no, grab your mic. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you so much for everybody for tuning in. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you, thank Violet, you. for coming. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Give it up for Violet Riot. Woo! Oh, there yeah. goes the music. <laughs> that's all right, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. That's all right. But... Next week on the Mixed Up Mike show, I can't even remember who's coming on. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, brain fart. But it's it going to be good. I'll, may, uh, <laughs> I'll be making the event later tonight. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's Widowmaker. Maybe. Widowmaker or Dewdrops. It's one of the two. Either one. They're both nasty DJs. So it's either going to be Dewdrops or Widowmaker. I forget which one. But... Make sure you tune in next Sunday for that. And also, like I said, February 17th, if you're down in the Rhode Island area, you got to go stop by platforms. AMF has been throwing nasty parties. Yep. I can't wait to get down there. If you're up in the Portland area, come by my event, especially if you want to spin. I got open decks, 8 to 9.30. Come by, bring your USB. You can plug right in and uh, have some fun for a little bit and hang out. You never know, you know, that's how things start. You know, if you want to have a maybe a little opportunity, feeling good, been spinning for a while, you want to get out there, hey, come on by Spring Point Tavern, February 17th, we got you. You know, you can get Do on it. there, get some experience <laughs> of getting out there. Hey, that's it's really, only, you know, one of the best ways of doing it is finding oh, open yeah. deck somewhere and going up there, you know, even if it's for 30 minutes. But if people don't show up to fill it you get more time mm -hmm. so that's always a good thing but i want to thank you again thank, thank you. you so much yes. for coming up <laughs> being on the show this is officially the first show of the new year for the mixed up mic show because last week was the last show of january and that officially ended my year and then we have the big party coming up april 15th for this Ooh. bad boy. One year of shows in one night. Ten DJs. Starts at 7 p.m. at Flask Lounge in Portland. And I have DJs for everybody. Dave Rigoli. I have Grits. I have AMF's Big Red. I have Kid Cool 808, which I know he is also in the chat. I have nice. Shogun, SB1, <laughs> Buddy Loves, Spunion, can't forget about him, DJ Angel, yes, definitely a good lineup. Also have special guest MC, Miss Hayes will be in the house. Also first 25 people that come through the door will get a free a gift or gifts. So be one of them first 25. Also definitely going to go with some decorations, 
It's going to be a little glowish, just to give that hint. A little glow. Just a little glow <laughs> for what I'm getting. But thank you once again, everybody, thank for tuning you. in. Much love to all of you. And I know it's High Rise Sunday, so the mu music's not going to be stopping. It's going to be getting back and going. <laughs> so make sure you're tuning in for High Rise Sunday. That's right. I know I'll be tuning in, so you better be tuning in, too. Much love to all of you. You as well. Yee. We're going to play another track for you guys. Going back to that one. This one? Oh, go with this one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. Whoops! We're on the wrong one. Push and pull. Push and pull. Push and pull. Push and pull. Let's go. Only on the Mixed Up Mike show. The only show that brings you both interviews and my DJ sets in one place. Much love, everybody. Peace. Push and pull. Don't forget. Whoop, whoop. Push and pull. Just fucking give it to me. <laughs>